Hi, I'm Roger Lynn, and in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the step sequencer of Adrenaline Sync version 2, our plugin for Windows and Macintosh. In previous tutorials, we talked about the five audio processing blocks and about the LFO, the low frequency oscillator, and how that is being used to modulate the filter frequency, volume, or pan position of the audio being passed through. But in this case, we're going to talk about the step sequencer, which is a wonderfully magic little device that allows you to get these rhythmic patterns superimposed onto your guitar signal or your instrument signal, whatever it is. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we'll set up the filter so that it's filtering our sound. We'll put the limiter on and a little bit of a delay just to give it some fullness. But basically what we're doing is just hearing a static filtered sound right now. You don't hear much there because it's a low pass filter set to a very low frequency, so it's passing only very low tones. And the reason is, is we're going to have that open up and down very quickly by using the modulation signal from the sequencer. So to get the sequencer to control the filter frequency, and we have a sequence in there right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that output, which is shown here in this left pointing triangle, going to these three knobs. And we're going to use the knob to frequency to send it up to the filter's frequency. So let's set it, set it to around 60. And notice that when I turn that up, you can see the modulation meter moving up and down. So let's hear what that sounds like. What it's doing is stepping through the 32 steps of this 32 step sequencer. Now notice that you can only see 16 steps, 16 levels of the sequencer. That's because we only show 16 levels at a time. We're showing only the first bar or measure of this sequence. And if you press this button, you'll now see bar 2, which in this case is identical to bar 1. But you can only see half of the sequence at a time. So what we were seeing was the filter frequency changing based on the level of each of these steps, and each one of them representing a 16th note. What let's do is let's add one thing more. We're going to add an envelope generator going up and down very quickly to every step. And that's done by switching these little things on and clicking on them. And the envelope time is set here. Here's the attack, here's the decay. In this case, it has an extremely short attack of zero, zero milliseconds, a decay time of 145 milliseconds. Now, instead of clicking each one of these, we can go over into the All region and click that, and it turns them all on. Now, to make sure we fill that same information into bar 2, looking at bar 2 now, let's copy bars 1 to 2 and it copies all those settings into bar 2. So let's hear what that sounded like now. Let's turn the resonance down a little bit and let's listen to what the sequence sounds like now. Now what you're hearing is a swing timing. That's because the timing of each 16th note step is set to, in the step size control, 16th note swing. Let's set it back to straight 16th note timing and listen to what that sounds like. You can also move it halfway in between to 16th note half swing. Here's what that sounds like. We can also take some of those envelope steps off. If the step is off, as I'm going to do here now with step 5, or 16th note 5 in bar 1, then the filter will sweep up and down for each of the steps but for number five, it'll stay on at its level for the entire duration of that step. Let's do the same thing for step 13. And as we did in the past, let's copy the bars from one to two so we have it the same thing on both bars.
We could also take that step size down to eighth note triplets. And here's what that sounds like. In that case, it only plays the first three steps out of each group of four. So you can do some fun things. You can also shift the steps, rotating them around in the sequence. And then another thing you can do, which is lots of fun, is you can turn the random on. And what this does is replace your program sequence with a completely random sequence. So in this case, you're now going to hear completely random 16th note filter frequencies. Let's listen to what that sounds like. With these random controls, you can control how probable it is that an envelope generator will fire on that step, how probable it is that a new level will be generated on each successive step from 0 to 100 percent, and then the range of levels that will be produced. Another thing that's fun to do is you can use these fill random controls to create a, a brand new sequence for you completely randomly. In this case, let's turn off the envelopes and just fill it with new levels. Let's see, this one sounds like it might sound pretty good. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Well, that's a good introduction to what the Step Sequencer does in the Adrenaline Sync version 2 plugin.